think that this is one of the most underutilized areas in, um, in Facebook advertising. And I want you guys to start learning about how to write compelling messages that convert. This is the creative department right here. So for example, if you go to business.facebook.com and you open up your message, there's gonna be an option over here that's called Creative Hub. And in here, you're gonna see all your different activities that are going on when it comes to your ad. Like it says right here, your big idea starts here. Well, I'm gonna uh, stop sharing my screen for example, and, and I'm gonna give you guys a little breakdown on the different projects that I will create, okay? So you have, you should create a branding project. This branding project is all gonna be about cold traffic. Basically, you're trying to create messages that are going to put you in front of people that don't know who you are yet. The first point of contact in the customer journey, cold traffic, okay? You should have retargeting projects. Think about this long term, guys. Like if you are becoming a bigger corporation and now you have staff, you have VAs, you have people helping you, then you can have them assigned to particular areas of your ads manager. Like these guys can be assigned only to the creative work. And then you can have some other guys assigned to creating the campaigns and using some of that creative work. So the creative department historically has always been separate to the research department. So you can actually long term, make sure you set that up correct. Lead generation. Now, as you guys can see how I put it on the uh, on, on the Creative Hub, lead generation includes actual emails that you can generate on Facebook or opt-in funnels that you send them through on ClickFunnels or messages subscribers. It's actually a lead generation. If you wanna get a little bit more like micro, you can have a project for messenger subscribers and I will definitely do that. Trying to get people into Messenger messenger subscribers that's a whole nother project okay you can do that and then you can have a project for sales if you have a shopify channel then that could be a particular project for getting people into your sales channel and getting them to purchase products from you and then you can have another project which is called um, amazon ranking those of you guys that have an Amazon brand, which I know is a lot of you guys, you can actually have uh, a project which is exclusively directed to getting people that are coupon hunters. They're looking for bargains and then you're gonna put them in front of them, some special offers. So now they can actually opt in and help you rank on Amazon. So that could be a whole project. So this is something that you guys should set up over here because uh, that way you have an organized structure an organized structure of um, being able to pull your ads in there for the particular things that you're working on. So the amount of things that you can do is pretty much unlimited. But these ones are the ones that I will break it into. I will break it into lead generation, branding, retargeting, messenger, sales, Amazon ranking. If you look at this, all of these messages right here are different. One, two, three, four, five, six messages. You have to write six unique messages for each one because they're gonna need a different message. For example, over here on branding, I never sell anything. There's no call to action. There's no like buy now, shop now, learn more, find out more, download, none of that stuff. It's literally branding. On retargeting, I'm talking to people that already have been exposed to the content and they've seen me talk about se several things before or they somehow connected with my brand before, whether they like the page or they message my page or they went to my website or whatever it is that's how we do it every single one is going to have a different message right for example on messenger subscribers when we're when we're going after messenger subscribers uh we are actually we are actually going after uh we're pushing them like we're trying to motivate these guys into opting in so the message has to be different and then sales is a different message now again sales is very connected with retargeting but on retargeting you can have you can push for leads and you can push for sales. And then on sales, it's usually gonna be just a sales message, right? A message directed, directed towards sales. And then Amazon ranking, that is another sort of uh, 
that's another lingo right there. That's another, you're trying to communicate to different people and you're gonna communicate in a very different way that you communicate on the branding. Now, just to prove the point on the, uh, on the buckets, uh, not on the buckets, again, on the copywriting guys, copywriting today is really the single most important factor in your creative. Why? Because when you're on Facebook, when you are actually looking and glancing through everything that's going on, you, the first thing that you see before you actually engage with the content, with a video or an image, is the actual copy on it. Like the message atop the video. 